Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy video tutorial. In this one we're going to be covering a program called Reactor and it's by Native Instruments and it's pretty much used to sort of build up and create your own synths and uh, effects modules but it's a bit uh, more advanced than actually just buying one off the shelf um, as it sort of incorporates all of the sort of bare bones to uh, synth programming. Um, now it, it wouldn't be just as advanced as the likes of um, uh, there's other other programs out there uh, for example uh, Max MSP and then I, I would sort of put this above Max MSP in the sort of easiness to learn off the bat um, Max MSP is a bit more uh, technical and then just below that I, I, you would jump and write down to actual C++ programming um, where there's no sort of visual aid at all um, whereas in Reactor you've got quite a lot of visual aid and it's quite easy to follow the signal path but sometimes that can be a bit of its uh, main downfall as well. So um, I'm just going to show you how to I'm going to show you the sort of ba basics of Reactor and I'm going to do that by playing it through Ableton Live as a sort of host. You can run it as a standalone if you wish um, but the main reason I'm going to do this is so that we can compare it with our other sort of favorite synth, which would be our Silent. Um, we're going to sort of try and um, mimic the Silent and build up and show you how you can actually create your own synth um, from scratch 